And good evening. Thank you for joining us on this Thursday. First at Wednesday, excuse me, first at six bus transportation for students across the low country has been an issue and a local lawmaker is proposing a bill for the state to consider. Sedasia Small spoke to Representative Wendell Gilliard about the new legislation and Sedasia, what more did he have to say? Well, Tessa, Representative Gilliard says his proposed plan is simple. Just keep parents and teachers informed. Between now and the time the session starts, the second week in January, uh, we need to have forums. We need to educate the people, the teachers, uh, our citizens, uh, whether it be private, public, or whatever the case might be. Gilliard is ready for a change, refiling a bill he proposed in 2019 to privatize state-owned school buses. He says funding could be reinvested back into South Carolina education, making it an advantage for students and teachers. And if we care about our children, we care about our teachers, then we need to put our money where our mouth is. These teachers want better pay. Uh, the other message is, uh, is definitely centered around school safety. You know, we can take revenues from that now and apply to things such as weapons detectors. CCSD currently operates with a private transportation company for a student. Leaders have estimated spending about $1,300 per student, while BCSD and DD2 still use district buses. In Gilliard's second attempt to passing this bill, he feels strongly that it will move forward. I feel a need for it four years ago because surely we could use it at the state house to protect us, even the governor. Why not protect our students, our teachers, and our custodians? Okay. What's good for us, it should be good for them. Now, we reached out to school board members across the low country, and the majority of them told me it's too early to comment on his proposed bill. Working for you live in the studio, City Asia Smalls, News 4.